Hello there. Plenty happening across the globe in terms of weather at the moment, most of it rain related. But there is some good news because the recent heavy rain that's brought that severe flooding in Kerala has eased. The main emphasis of the rain across uh, India now pushes that little bit further north. Gujarat, Madhra Pradesh, Chhattisgarh seeing some very heavy rainfall and at the same time pushing up through the Bay of Bengal affecting Bangladesh and along the Himalayas as well. Now moving away from South Asia, Towards um, parts of the Pacific and in the Western Pacific, we've got two typhoons at the moment, one Cimarron, but the one that we need to keep a close eye on at the moment, and you can see this amazing picture on the satellite picture, and you can clearly pick out the eye, this is Solik. Now, it looks likely to brush with the southern uh, Japanese islands, including Honshu, over the next day, but making landfall across South Korea during Thursday, and that will bring some very heavy rain and localised flooding with it. Sharper showers, though, on Wednesday across central and southern China, over into the Philippines, the same too for Vietnam. Further south, it's largely quiet. But Solik could be the first typhoon to make landfall in South Korea since 2012, with gusts of winds of 100 mile an hour, and certainly there's going to be the potential for some localised flooding. Across to North America now, where this massive cloud here from an area of low pressure has brought some very heavy rain. And on Wednesday, it's going to move its way across eastern Canada and the northeast uh, through New York. And it could potentially bring some very heavy rainfall, five, six inches of rain before it clears through. Further west, it's all been about the heat, although there are signs across the Pacific Northwest, across British Columbia in particular, of that heat starting to slowly ease down. And you can see that on our five-day city forecast. We had high 20s at the beginning of the week, now into the low 20s. Something to watch out for across Australia at the moment is this area of low pressure moving its way through the bite. Now, it doesn't look particularly threatening, but it could bring some very welcome rain across parts of New South Wales and Victoria. And that will certainly come as good news. And you can see the first signs of that in Sydney. There could be some sharp showers as we move through the weekend. But Perth stays fine, settled and sunny, but getting a little bit cooler. Staying with the theme of getting cooler, this weather front here is the dividing line and it's bringing some colder air down across the northern half of Europe and that will continue to sink south. Down through the Med, it's settled and sunny, but sharp thundery downpours, always a possibility, particularly across the Alps and through southern Italy. So it certainly looks over the next few days as though we will keep that fresher feel, a story across the UK as that weather front continues to slip south. More details on the whole of the UK's weather coming up in half an hour.